Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the Here's moment they found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize? Yeah, let's go to hell with a picture died? of Forrest Burns. I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? Where are God you, Delilah? There. That's my tower. There. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. What is going on, Geeks Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode, episode 2 of Firewatch. Where we left off, a storm was blown in from the north, and we are in Thunder Canyon. Uh, on our way back to our lookout, in the previous episodes, we got to know a bit of Henry- Oh! Fire flashlight. Who's that? There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Hey, yeah, I came out of that's the right up by my came, tower, I think. It was just creeping? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I, well, I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. Ooh. Oh, I got the shivers. This is a mystery it's game. Outside. Come on. <laughs> gotcha. And people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> I get it. Bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Yeah, we'll see about that. Alright, I'll take a run at this. Oh, yeah, I didn't do it quite right. Alright, maybe I did. Maybe that was the smooth one. That guy did creep me out, but Delilah has led me to believe that there is nothing in particular to worry about. This was a shortcut I took when I did my live stream. Yeah, in the previous episodes, we got some of Henry's backstory, and we harassed some drunk, naked girls. Sounds like a good time to me. Um, no, teens setting off fireworks, skinny dipping, drinking hard, and I gave them a hard time, and because it's the 80s, they called me a grody old perv and said, barf me out, and I had to take that. It was over at that point. They won. Um, I lived through the 80s, unlike a lot of you guys watching, and uh, the, we people talked weird back then. Yeah, like that famous valley girl way of talking, where you say like all the time. It probably still influences the way I talk, because that's just the cool way of talking when I was growing up. And we are almost back. Yaus. Okay, cool. I think the tower is just up here. I had a look at the map before I jumped back into recording. And... Alright, I'll climb the rocks. Fine. I'm out of frickin' breath. <laughs> Trail closed sign. Okay, cool. I remember this. Take a break. Relax. Nothing to worry about at all. <laughs> well... Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, yep. I took care of the black path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything Damn. for the service. We're back. Well, we are you. back, baby. Anytime. What is this thing? Ah. He's freaky, eh? You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns, anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. We got a baseball. With a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> nice toss. I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Where's that storm? Oh, oh, man, that's even worse. There it is. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forest Burns. There we go. Okay, well, let's head back up to the Two Forks Lookout Tower. We're pretty much back that way now. Well, it's our cistern. Cool. Can I go cut through here? Yes, I can. No, I can't at all. Okay, that didn't go well at all. I'm going to keep this baseball, I think. Except. Now, I've seen this, guys, but that is my typewriter. 
Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You write? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. Yeah, How my novel. <laughs> you should get inside. Fuck me. Jesus. Yep. I thought maybe playing this differently, uh... Someone broke in. Hey, what? Would just, result in a different place. situation, but definitely not. Window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Wow. Lights? This place is wrecked. My fucking sheets are gone! They stole your sheets? That's just me! Okay, I put in a call. Uh... That was fast. Yeah, well... Do you have any idea who could have done this? Um... Well... Could be the girls. I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. Jesus. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Yeah. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my is. friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Wow. We don't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Well, the break-in certainly doesn't help. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up and you'll have an excellent summer. There you go. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, day two. Cool. Guys, this is episode two of Firewatch. I didn't make it through day one in episode one. Here we are back at the typewriter, sitting in front of our shaky broken windows and sipping. Hey, wake up. On some Ferreter's Irish whiskey. What's going on, Delilah? What's going wake, on, D? Wake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried oh, radioing good. out, and that's not working either. Might as well hold on to this stuff. You never know. I don't um, know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, right. I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the, the north. The rain's down in Africa out. cave. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Hank? Since when is that popping up? You know what? We'll let it go. Let it go. I like Hank. Um, guys, we played the nice guy so far. You know, like I was really nice to those girls. And in general, I've kind of taken the nice approach. I'm going to leave the baseball here for now. We'll take it up next time when we don't have a typewriter to carry. Um, I think no more Mr. Nice Guy. We ain't playing, we ain't playing that game anymore i think uh i think we're gonna be tough we're gonna be tough henry we're gonna punch some faces we're gonna give some teenage girls some shit and uh oh can i go back down the way i came yeah i don't know if i can <laughs> uh cave is totally the opposite way Here we go. This is the proper direction. Yep, I recognize this. Cool. Let's see. Where was that trailhead sign? Broke close trail? Is that this way? Yeah, that's cool. The way that they've kind of blocked off uh, parts of the map. Uh, I'm eager to get to the parts of the game that weren't included in the preview build. The demo they released to streamers and YouTubers like me um, to get people hyped for the game. What was that fog? Yeah, definitely some fog. Tell her about it. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. There. Roger oh, there's that. a box. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, 
What's life like? Ruby River. Huh. I probably don't have to go that way. Uh. Uh, Mayhem. My dog. My wife. I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well. But you're taking a little break. Or. We're. More complicated <sighs> than that. Sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. I'm really going the Where wrong way. You? I wanted to go down to that cache. Okay, good. That. No, I don't think he has any idea. Is she talking about me? I'm absolutely sure. Don't think he has any Would idea. You? Would you? Would you tell him? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. I just opted to listen in. Hey, that was creepy. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Uh, am I getting myself lost again? No. Okay. No, um, well, I let that one go. Looks like I might have lost you. You could be down in one of those valleys. I'm in a valley. Call I'm sorry. We'll do. Uh, is, yeah. Oh, wow, I'm really turning myself around here. Ooh, that wind last night actually tore up some trees near my tower. I know, right? Ugh, it's out of this world. Now, imagine we had a big fire burning. Yeah. Jesus. It's something else. I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time. If that happens this summer, you'll really be in for it. Yeah, I'm sorry I cut off the conversation. I really didn't mean to there. I'd love to get to know Delilah. That is one of the highlights of this game. We're back on the right track now, guys. Uh, as far as I can tell, at least. And uh, hustling our way back down to the cave that uh, we crawled through. Crawled through, walked through last episode. And, yeah, cool. We're almost there. I like it. There we go. Yeah, this game really does a great job capturing a Wyoming morning. This is the state, uh, the U.S. state I've probably spent uh, the most time in, the one I've at least visited the most number of times, and that was part of the appeal of this game to me. Plus, I mean, it was set in the era I grew up in. I think we're in 1989 right now. I was just a kid, just starting school uh, right around now. So it's a time I look back on with nostalgia. Uh, we've okay perfect back through here and I guess we're gonna have a if I remember a bit of a long journey to find our way we don't go this way down Thunder Canyon we go this way uh, we'll have a double check at our map here yes cool we got to work our way all the way up this uh, to Beartooth Point I think um, gap in the bush clear it Cool. Yeah, this is, um, I got it running on ultra, got it running on the highest mode possible. Now, this game isn't really a, a hog when it comes to graphics, but, um, but uh, it does require a decent computer to run, and luckily, I've got the gear to run it on its highest settings, so we get the most out of what Campo Santo and Oli Moss managed to put together. Um, this is a, this is a cool little area. These trees are different. I haven't really seen those before. This is all brand new for us. Um, in the Let's Play series, I did go through this during my live stream, but I am starting to forget what this area looked like. Oh, cool. We got little saplings out here. Forest being replanted. Probably by Forest Burns, the park ranger. <laughs> Fictional character. Hey, I got the... Hey, there. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. Well, follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. No problem there. Oh, the little structure up ahead. I think that was just an outhouse. Yeah, Wyoming's a gorgeous place, right? You know, like before I ever went. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but... That's somebody's song. You know, 
Use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Bear Yeah, yeah, and yeah. If it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. That's the athletic jump I was looking at. Okay, if it's not damaged, you can look, loop around back home. It is damaged. It should run from there to there, and it doesn't. Okay, we gotta get up there, see what the hell's going on. Um, this Beartooth Point, I mean, that, that is very cool looking. Now, I can't say that this looks like the part of Wyoming that I spent a lot of time in, which was Jackson Hole. Um, I went there in the summer, went there in the winter. It's a really, really beautiful spot, but it's right in the heart of the Tetons, which are part of the Rockies, and you've got incredible mountains. So if there are parts of, oh, guess who's on the right track? Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Yeah, I'm not guessing that they did at the moment. Long drop. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I can get back I can up just there. keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Mm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, well if, if you there were smoke signals, days, this I'll would be the spot out, to do them. I'd rather it not come to that. Here we are. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Um... Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The Here's moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize... Now let's go to hell with a picture die? of Forrest Burns. I mean, Where are you, Delilah? There. That's my tower. There. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is... <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll mess them up. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell oh, out of them. Oh, we should get this. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. There we go. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big wow. into Red Eagle. There's a trail. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe oh, they I got it. Back around towards the lake or something. Well, we're gonna I go. Don't where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. I'm gonna go grab this cache. I'm not sure the best way to get down there, but um, geeks, I think that is as big and as an exciting an ending for this video as I could ask for. The girls have cut the wire, left some obnoxious underwear with a thing that says "Go to Hell, Freak" on it, and um. All right, I really can't get back that way. That's okay. Um, but that's going to do it for this episode two of Firewatch. It might be a bit of a shorter one, but we will carry along in episode three. Thank you so much for watching this one. Listen to this music. This shows you it's 1989. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping. Wow. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us? Shut it, kids. Hey, I see plenty of boobs.